Tell me that ain't good. It got like 10 layers, bro. It Tell me that that ain't good. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on that video. But real quick, I gotta give a big shout out to our sponsor, Pearl River Bridge. For the next 90 seconds, I'm gonna be showing you guys five different ways to enhance your snacks at home using soy sauce. Avocado with superior light soy sauce. The broke man's California roll. Catching the vibe. Oh yeah. Cold silk and tofu and pork sung and 35% less sodium light soy sauce. <laughs> That's a restaurant dish. Leftover rice with eggs and Golden Label Superior Light Soy Sauce. Mm. That was like a broke man's fried rice. Buttered popcorn with mushroom flavor Superior Dark Soy Sauce. Oh, that's mommy. Enhance your instant noodles with a splash of seasoned soy sauce for seafood. This was lobster flavor. Mm. Man, that actually makes a lot of sense because lobster's a seafood, so you put the soy sauces for the seafood in this lobster flavored noodles. So as you guys can see, Pearl River Bridge has been providing a wide variety of extremely high quality soy sauces. I use them myself, actually. You know what it is, Pearl River Bridge. The Hot Pop Boys are about to try all the best hot foods at the 99 Ranch Deli. Shh. Wang Luo Shi Bing. David's got to, you know, disarm them with the Chinese. Er, San. We have red rice pork chop, Beijing pork, and tempura seafood. This is a Chinese dish. Sometimes I start a combo, I can't Yo, continue. Which Yo, Look this is the San Team Bomb. What I like about 99, look at the variety of, you know, these little lunch boxes you got. You got salmon, you got tasu, you got chicken rolls, you got the eel and the salmon, the Taiwan style. Yeah, I gotta get that. Oh, gotta get that, man. I gotta get that, man. Let's hit the park. What do you guys want to start with? It would be regrettable if we did not indulge in the op. Here we have two types of duck. The roast duck, you know, which is in Cantonese, siu op. I want to say it was $16.99 a pound. What does mom always insist on not getting? The anus. 99 ranch roast duck. Ducks have more fat because they exist mm. in the water. Mm. Pretty good though. I mean, I would say pretty standard piece. Nothing to complain about. Pretty solid though. You just ate the whole thing before you said anything. I gotta really analyze it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the meat is a little dry. I give it a four out of five. I think it's pretty strong. I give this a 3.5 out of five. I'm gonna leave some room for improvement. I give it a three out of five. It's pretty standard. We got soy yeah. sauce duck. Pardon? I think I might like the soy sauce duck a little better. This meat's a little juicier. Maybe it's just a piece. You gotta try a drumstick to be scientific. How weird is it to be eating ducks with ducks in the background? I'm so sorry, guys. I give this one a three out of five. For my I expectations, I actually have to give it a 3.5 out of five because I expected this to be not as tasty as the roast duck. And it isn't, but it's close. Low expectations for the soy sauce ducks. Yes. But I think, you know, it actually did 
pretty well. It's comparable to the, you know, roast duck. Ooh. I'm giving it three out of five. We have the honey spare ribs. If you guys know, 99 Ranch was started by Taiwanese people. However, of course, to cater to the mass market, they do carry, you know, obviously a lot of Cantonese items. The spare ribs seems a little bit more Cantonese. The flavor is good, but it's flavor's fine. Good. Flavor's yeah. good. We should have a little more meat, mm. though. Yeah, these are a little bony. I noticed Chinese people love eating a little bit of meat off of a lot of bones. Oh, look at that glaze and that honey. I give it a 3.5 because the flavor is strong. Yo, I'm giving that a four. I'm, I'm giving it a four too. Man. That was really good. Okay. Just like you said about the duck, if yeah. it had more meat or something, it would be a five. Hey, I want to see Justin and Christina's opinion. Uh, soy sauce and then not soy sauce and then that is last. I agree. There was some dissent amongst the crew. Wow, that was crazy that they flipped our ranks. This is a Taiwanese chicken roll. The ji You know, it don't really taste like chicken though. It's always been okay to me. I wouldn't go to the restaurant and order this. I would say that this is a worker food. If you look at it, it's always Real included grill. in a railroad box because the people who are building the railroads in Taiwan, that is what they would be served. Uh -huh. David, we have some special items that are fairly new to the 99 Ranch Deli. Rune Bings, as the lady was saying. Chinese polito. Oh! That's the... There's the black sesame joint. Oh! Shrimp. Wow, that's straight salad Tempura style. Shrimp, red yeast pork. Oh, the rune bings. Let's go. I do get some sweetness and a lot of the cabbage. I get a lot of egg flavor. It is a whole meal. Mine just tastes very healthy, man. Mm -hmm. You got a bunch of vegetables in there. Mine tastes very healthy, there's, too. There's no sauce, but I think there's slight wasabi in there. I actually like yours, David. I like the red yeast pork. It's good. Yeah, the black sesame, I wouldn't say that I would go for that. I, I wouldn't eat the whole thing. I'm actually gonna give this rune bing a 3.5 out of 5, this setup. Because it's very low carb, actually. There's no rice, you're getting plenty of veggies, although the flavor's not amazing. But I think if you just squeeze a little sauce on it, I think Where's the lamb sauce? I don't know if it's because of my diet as of late. I actually enjoyed eating this. Just like Andrew said, with all the vegetables in there. I don't know. Tastes I think very clean, very healthy. I feel like I could eat this and still be able to dunk. Instead Google. of the eatability, we're talking about dunkability. Oh, okay. 3.5 for me, 3.5 right. for me. You guys okay. sold me on the healthy Chinese burrito angle so hard. I'm going with three. Here, next up, we got the Shenzhen Bao, which, by the way, you never see Shenzhen Bao package like this nope. to go. We gotta try these right now, oh, 6.49. Uh -huh. Those are cool. I'll give that for being packaged a 4.5 out of 5. Wow. Oh my gosh, for it to be to go? For a grab and go, 4.5 out of 5. This is man. definitely that by far the Juicy. best item that just on its own. Okay, here we got the Jia Man, one of my favorite dishes of all time. This was $5.99. The Taiwanese style has a lot more uh, tofu chopped in. Mm. Got a little kick to it though, I like that. I like the spice. I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Not bad, but like, I could skip it. I get it a 2.5. Black in flavor. The sesame, cold noodle. I'm excited for this one because this is one of my favorites. Super thick. And how are you supposed to mix that in? That this shit really don't come out. Like. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna say I'm uh, quite disappointed. Nah. There are two elements missing from these cold noodles, which I don't think they could put in there. There's vinegar, yeah. white or black vinegar, and hot sauce. Dude, something about the peanut sauce just tastes off. First of all, I like this dish. I give this one 275. For how much I like this dish, this was a very big disappointment. I'm gonna give it a two out of five, man. I give it a 2.5. Yo, you guys know the weird thing? That actually tasted like the PF Chang's version. That's bad, then. Yeah, the well, And they probably charged there? like Somebody had left $13 or something. Lu Sui Dan, Lu Sui Dan. Oh, watch the rip. Oh, it's very thick. Yo, that is a gigantic face. This is huge, bro. Look, uh, yo. <laughs> they have gel to get. Hey, they're holding hands. For a tea egg, I gotta give this a 2.5 out of 5. It's not bad. Yeah. Totally would eat it if I was hungry. Would not reach for it if I had options. I kind of feel the same way with the Chiu Tai Hoods. I thought it was cool that they had this dish because this is like more of a northern Chinese style dish that has made it into the 99 Ranch Deli now, but I'm not gonna lie, it's too big, and I just, the skin was just too thick. So 2.5 out of 5. Flavoring for the, the tea marinade is pretty good, but I mean, I don't know whether it's just cold, you know, it's not fresh, 
it's hard to you know eat the skins off the bone. We give these a two out of five, man. My expectations were kind of low, so I still give it around like a 2.5. 2.5. We are getting into the side dishes. Oh, we got the marinated beef honey tripe. About to try that for five dollars. I know David hates tripe. I don't prefer it. A little funky. Mm. Yeah, this tripe's not that good. All right, guys. The pig ear thread. Oh my gosh, I do not like pig ear thread. For real? I don't like this. I would take pig ear over tripe all day. What? It tastes better than the tripe. Yeah. But it's still got the oh, funk. Yeah, it got the, the, the aftertaste funk. I'm a big fan of bamboo shoots. I like bamboo <laughs> shoots. I like it. Mm. Compared to everything else oh. we just ate, it's cool. A lot of these dishes, the first half, 50%, <laughs> tastes kind of good. But then the second half, I don't know what it hits Yo. you with that funk. Fry gloom. Ooh. Squishy. Are sweet. This was from the grandparents section. The red one's cool. I'm not feeling this one. This crusty one. The reason that um, Cantonese and Taiwanese share the pork belly dish so much is because it is a Hakka dish. Wow. And there are Hakka people in both Taiwan and the Guangdong province. Hot pork belly. How much was it? $5.99. I would say it was pretty solid. No? No, it was good. Out the box. Not Four bad. out of five. Yeah. This will knock you out though. You eat this whole thing, you go in a food coma instantly. On the dunkability scale, not good. Taste wise, you know, price, pretty good. I would say 3.5 out of five for me. I'll give it a four. Chicken steak, bro. Look that at that. That is super white. It's like blown out right now. Oh, I can't, I can't see. see it. It's chewy, huh? Mm. Okay, it tastes kind of good. I ain't I mad give at this. Though. I'm not a mad at it. Three though. out of five. I would eat this. Yeah, I'm not mad at it though. Give it three out of five. Yo, I. It's just solid, solid, right in the middle. 3.5 out of 5. Red yeast pork, Hakka style. Let's do this. I like red yeast pork, though. Not this one. I thought the chicken was better. I give this a 2.5 out of 5. Taiwanese tashu. I'm excited about this. Wow. It's legit like a jerky, bro. Wow. I would give that one out. a 3. Flavor was really good. I'd say 2.5. 2.5. 2.5. All right. Pork chop. Yeah, the pork chop was, uh... How do you say, uh, not bad? Uh, I prefer the chicken steak over it, though. This salmon looks weird. Oh, it's soft. Come on, look at that. That's not bad. It's just a little it. oxidized. Solid. I no, skip. Good. No. He's not He's not That's good. That's good. Three package, lunch box. Give it four out of five. Four out of five. For the sake of it, 4.5 out of five. <laughs> it's my favorite thing I ate from the boxes. It's all very yeah. sweet. It's soft. Fully cooked. David, you are a big fan. Nelson, are you also a big fan of eel? Now, I am not a big fan of Unagi, but. A lot of little bones, man. 2.5 out of 5. 3.5 out of 5. Whoa, hold on, hold on. David, what are you sensing? That's a big jump. The eel flavor is not good enough. Okay. <laughs> I give it a 3. Guys, we are looking at some very potentially like ancient things right now. I call that the curry triangle. I'm taking it. This is a uh, yeah. green beans. Ooh, sesame. Oh, that one looks good. That look cool. That look cool. Ancient pastries. Actually, not that bad though. No, this one's so pretty good. Simple. I'm not gonna lie, it's not fresh. Dang, I'm... son. <laughs> Yo, this is like Yo, a baseball. Dog. This is <laughs> this is some really tough cushioning right here. Man, no, I want. Oh my god. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually really into manto. But if you don't eat it right when it comes out, it's no, not nah. good. No, this one's good. Yo, I feel like breaking off Monto, I feel like very like working class and like poor. It's kind of cool. Is this a cultural revolution, guys? I mess with this one. Christina, please try it and give us your opinion. I would give it a three out of five. All right. I actually agree with Christina. Three out of five, not bad. Yo, Yo you guys, that does it for the savory foods at 99 Ranch from the grab and go hot deli section. We're on the desserts, but first of all, Let's do general takeaways. I just think that a lot of the foods is uh, hit or miss. You know, some could be pretty good, but some could be pretty not good. My favorite, I'm gonna say, was the honey spare ribs. Man. Even though it, it had very little meat, just the taste on the honey glaze was really good. My major takeaway is that uh, I love 99 Ranch. I do think that they could add some different flavors with the changing kind of narrative of what Chinese food is. I think they could add in some like some, some spicy food, some Sichuan flavors a little bit. You know, that's hot right now. I think it helped. But overall, I am impressed by the range of hot food that they cook back there. Oh, what was your favorite savory item, man? 
I got to go with the salmon just because it was the most surprising. I think oh, yeah. we all salmon. thought it looked a little bit weird at first, but yeah. I had faith in it, it and good. I, it I believe salmon. in my salmon, and it was overall pretty good. First of all, if you look at the age range of who was cooking that food, was older, 15 up. You notice okay. the dishes that were cooked the best, Okay, they also happened to be dishes uh -huh. that were preferable to the older generation. Doesn't that make sense? That the people who cooked it, they know how to cook what they like. And the items that were outside of that range, more in the younger person category, generally were not, were a little off. But the items such as the very ancient pastries <laughs> were cooked to an A tier because it was cooked by the native generation of that food. Ah! Ah! I see what you're saying, that the really old recipes would seem like that the old people would cook them better. But you think I, I don't even know what a new recipe is though that we ate. I'm like right in the middle. They're serving a lot of foods at the 99 Ranch Grab and Go that are actually difficult to find at a restaurant. Yeah. yeah. It's based off a lot of railroad boxes in Taiwan. For me, I like the roast duck, the mantos, and the pastries. All right, we have the red bean cream puff. Okay. We have a black sesame cream puff. Okay. And we have a matcha green puff. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah -ha. oh. Whoa. That's kind of good. Not bad. Oh, black sesame is good. Matcha a little black sour. Black sesame is good. Mm, black sesame wins. Yeah, black sesame is strong. David, that is a slice of green jiggly pandan cake. There we go. Oh. Could have used more cream. Yeah. Do me a favor. Buy me more cream. Oh, Three out of five. Mango cake roll. Oh. oh, oh. Mm. Four out of five. I like it. All right, guys, we're all gonna try one that we choose. The person with the biggest reaction. Everybody else gotta try that one. I'm going so with the cheesecake bites. Okay. This one. I'm going with the cheesecakey. I think you guys gotta go for that one. Tell me that ain't good. It got like 10 layers, bro. Tell me that that ain't good. Tell me. I got David running around. Oh, okay. And I, I, Bad for your health. So sweet. Five instant pounds. My major takeaway is that I do think it's time for a change. They have to cater to the newer generation. I remember eight, nine, ten years ago, that hot deli section was much busier. The supermarkets were much busier. There's things that are trendy and not trendy in life, but as a company, as an individual, the only things you can be responsible for outside of the macro trends is what you're providing. I do agree that it needs an update. However, I was trying to think of what it looks like because I was thinking, even if you provide a little bit of cooler food over in that area, are younger people gonna flock to 99 Ranch to eat food? I think it's tough. They're in a tough spot, especially that 99 Ranch. They are catering to a market that they know that they can rely on. I'm not saying that every 99 is like that. No, no, no. We went to a particularly heritage, traditional 99. There are ones One that the are more updated. I thought those rune bings was an update. Oh yeah. That was kind of cool. Like, I, come on, when was the last time you seen a Chinese lady roll a burrito that fat I'd that look like a Chipotle burrito? I'd like to see them serve Chinese street foods. Uh, you know how there's a bunch of jackfruit there and durian, and those things are really huge, right? And if you don't know how to cut them, if you don't got the machete at home, you pretty much can't cut it. Or you just don't know what you're doing. Yeah. What if, they put them in fruit cups for you. Jacked up the price a little bit, made it more convenient for you, made it more accessible for the younger generation. I think that would help. All right, you guys, huge shout out to 99 Ranch. 99 Ranch was considered revolutionary as the update from the old school Chinatown oh, market. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yep, for sure. It's been it's gone stages. You guys, I'll say this. Of the Chinese diaspora in America, there have been wave after wave yeah. after wave after wave. Yep. So anytime somebody re refers to an immigration wave, it's like, which wave are you talking about? I want to know if there's a 99 ranch in the area that you guys think we should really try that's really updated. Let us know in the comments below. Yo, follow us at our Instagrams down below. Nelly Nell from Hubala. Hey. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for watching that video. And thank you for watching a lot of other videos. And thank you for subscribing because David, we have just reached 2 million subscribers. 2 Woo! million! Woo! Woo! And we have to give a huge, gigantic shout out to our biggest sponsor of all time for whom without them, this none of this would be possible. I gotta give a shout out to our sponsor, you guys. Oh!
No, seriously, you guys have been the sponsor of our entire channel. I mean, you know, we have other sponsors, but you guys have been watching the videos and subscribing, and it's not all about subscriptions. Obviously, it's about engagement, it's about the people you touch, it's about the comments, the ups and downs, and everything. I mean, you guys just meeting you guys in person and connecting with you guys, that's what it's really about. I think it's so rare for people to be able to touch the lives of people that they don't physically meet. You know, open somebody's eyes or educate somebody or just give somebody something funny for, you know, in a way that they enjoyed or was accessible to them. Um, two million people around the world at least know who Fungros are or like a video enough to have subscribed. It, it just means so much. And you guys, we are gonna keep going. We got a, a lot of cool stuff coming up. We got a memberships channel right now. Please click join if you guys want some exclusive podcast, exclusive material, uh, just check it out. And also turn on your notifications because we got new videos coming out. For seven years, we've been making videos consistently. So we have some new formats coming. We're gonna bring back vlogging. And I will say this, closing up, because I don't want to talk too long, but one thing and one goal that we have that we're gonna accomplish in the next few months is to be more personal with you guys. And we are gonna share more about our lives and our thoughts. I gotta give a huge shout out to Nelson Chan from Hubelad. We got too many people to thank, okay. man. I don't even wanna thank all the directors. Richie, the Tim, all those guys. Uh, Nelson, uh, Will Smith, Vince Carter, to keep you All right, guys, thank you for everything. And until next time, we out. Peace. We out this. This is the best. We I love this. 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 I love this.